Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Galvan. Before we get started with today's lesson, I would like to remind you that your teachers miss and love you very much. We can't wait to see you back in school. Okay, so today we are going to read about Jackie Robinson. And I know that you can make text to text and text to self connections because you've already read about him on Monday. So I would like you to find this page right here. It says facts about. So we are going to write facts about Jackie Robinson. A fact is something that is true and can be proven. So I made this little anchor chart here. So fact, something that can be true, I'm sorry, something that is true and can be proven. An example of a fact is Miss Galvan is a second grade teacher. That's something you can prove and you already know that, right? Okay, so we know that we're gonna write facts about Jackie Robinson. So let's complete this sentence starter here. I would like you to write Jackie Robinson on this blank here. And I'm gonna write a little bigger than you so that you guys can see what I'm writing. Okay, let's write Jackie. Remember, that's a proper noun because it's his name. Robinson. Okay. So remember, we need to look for facts in the text that we're about to read. And again, facts are something that are true and can be proven. So let's go ahead and turn back to this page. I would like you to read to me or read with me, please. All right, so this is the title, Jackie Robinson. The first page that we're gonna read is right here. I'm gonna go ahead and label that as page one. So before we start reading, I'm gonna get my cute cat pin out because that's fun for me. And please read with me. Jack Roosevelt Robinson was named after Teddy Roosevelt. His mom named him after someone brave. Okay, our next page is right next to it. I'm gonna go ahead and label that page two. Jackie grew up in a time where the rules were not fair for African Americans. Jackie was fantastic at sports, but he could not play on a team because of the color of his skin. All right, this last page that we have not read is the third page. Let's go ahead and label that just in case. When Jackie was 26 years old, a man named Branch Rickey gave him a chance to join his team, the Brooklyn Dodgers. Even though many people were against Jackie, he played his first game when he was 27 years old. At his second time at bat, he hit a home run and proved to everyone that no matter the color of your skin, everyone deserves a chance to play. Okay, well let's turn back to our page that we're gonna answer some things are. So, remember, we know that we're gonna have to write about facts. And again, a fact is something that can be, that is true and can be proven. So keep that in mind as we write about Jackie Robinson. So I'm gonna go back to this first page. And when we read this first page, I noticed that he was named after someone. His mom named him after, after someone that was very brave. So my first fact that I see, and I'm sure that you noticed it as well, is that Jack Roosevelt Robinson was named after Teddy Roosevelt. And I'm aware that that is a fact because that is something that I found in the text and can prove it is true. So I'm gonna go ahead, turn back to this page and write exactly what we highlighted. You are more than welcome to write in your own words or you can write what we highlighted on that first page. So let's go ahead and write. Jack Roosevelt Robinson was named after Teddy, Ro uh, Teddy Roosevelt, excuse me. P. 
period. Make sure we're writing, um, sorry, make sure that we are capitalizing the proper nouns and what we're supposed to and also adding our punctuation. Okay, so here I'm gonna go ahead, excuse me, and write another fact from the text. So as a good reader, which everybody is, I'm gonna look back at my text so that I can prove my evidence that I found a fact. When we read the second page together, we found out that when Jackie Robinson, that when Jackie Robinson was growing up, there were, um, during the time that he was growing up, excuse me, the rules were not fair for African Americans. Okay, so even though it says Jackie was fantastic at sports, well, he was fantastic at sports, I'm sure, but that is not exactly a fact because we also read that the rules were not fair for African Americans. So that isn't exactly something we can prove. Some people believe that he was fantastic, but not everybody. So the fact that we have both noticed, or we have all noticed, I'm sorry, is that Jackie grew up in a time where rules were not fair for African Americans. So let's go ahead and color, highlight, underline, whatever you have available. Jackie grew up in a time where the rules were not fair for African Americans. So you are more than welcome to, uh, to write your own sentence in your own words, or you can write what I'm writing, and I'm going to go ahead and write what we found in the text. Okay, let's see. Jackie grew up in a time where the rules were not fair for African Americans. Oops, I ran out of space. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark that out and write my last word underneath it, Americans. Period. All right, so I want all of you who are excellent readers and very good readers to go ahead and finish these um, last two boxes on your own once I finish the lesson. Remember, good readers go back and find evidence in their text before they figure out their answer. All right, kiddos. So, my dears, we are finished with that part. Before we begin anything else, or before we begin math, I would like to remind you that today you are going to write about whichever topic you would like. Topics for today. Would you do it... What would you do if you were a leprechaun? Ooh, that sounds fun. What would you do if you found buried treasure in your backyard? Hmm. What is your favorite Dr. Seuss book? Why? Make a list of animals you would like to see at the zoo. Well, they all sound very interesting to write about, but I would like you to pick one and go ahead and illustrate and write about whichever, excuse me, whichever prompt you picked on this page. Make sure, friends, that you are using your writing checklist. Remember, capitalization, beginning of sentences, using proper nouns is extremely important. Just as much as punctuation at the end of your sentences, finger spaces so we can read the words correctly and the writing makes sense. Once you're finished writing, you always need to go back and reread it to make sure it makes sense. Okay, let's move along, my dears. So, before we get started with math, I just want to remind you that you need to complete, and I can't find it at the moment, of course, um, your sticky math homework, which is uh, not here with me, but you know exactly what sticky math is because we do it in class all the time. So, when you find your sticky math page, which I cannot at the moment, you are going to ask mom, dad, brother, sister, grandma, grandpa to tell